Ah, oh, the holidays. A time for quiet, peaceful reflection on the year that's gone by. And what a year it's been. We saw the aviation industry back a coronavirus and staff shortages. Billions were poured into EV toll companies. COP26 made us reevaluate how we fuel the future. The chip shortage led to car production woes. Rivian and Lucid released their game-changing cars. Driverless vehicles began popping up on more and more roads. Tesla rolled out its FSD beta and drew criticism from a federal crash investigator. There were more SPAC mergers than you could shake a stick at. And we sent some billionaires up into space. Makes you wonder what next year could bring, right? Well, here's what's likely to be making the headlines in 2022. Okay, let's start with the roads. It's likely they'll continue to be as full of cars as ever. It's just that next year, more of those cars will be electric. They're a vision of the future that is now beginning to happen. Biden's bipartisan infrastructure bill is promising billions towards expanding the US's EV charging network, which already grew in 2021. It's part of the reason why EVs are forecast to make up 4% of all new car sales in the US in 2022. That means you're going to start to see more EVs on the road, and not just Teslas. There's a slew of automakers ready to try and capture that demand. Ford is expected to start deliveries of its F-150 Lightning, the electrified version of America's most popular pickup, at the start of next year. Lucid is releasing its cheaper Lucid Air Pure, and Rivian will ramp up deliveries of their R1S SUV, while at the same time developing a new factory near Atlanta, Georgia. Production is scheduled to begin on Fisker's Ocean at the tail end of next year. And while we're not entirely sure if 2022 will be the year that Tesla's Cybertruck finally makes an appearance on our streets, what we do know is that next year the company is likely to start delivering vehicles from its Austin and Berlin plants, and that will expand the company's global presence and bolster its manufacturing capabilities. But it's not just the cars we drive that could be seeing an update next year. Driverless car companies have big plans too. See, in October this year, GM's CEO said she was pretty confident that Cruise, the company's robo-taxi arm, would be able to remove the support drivers from their vehicles in 2022. And Intel have announced that Mobileye, its autonomous driving company, will be going public next year. And while car manufacturers continue to roll out their advanced driver assistance platforms, one automaker has big plans for next year. And for once, I am not talking about Tesla. Mercedes has received approval to roll out its Level 3 Autonomous Drive Pilot software in Germany in 2022. Level 3 Autonomy, if you don't know, means that you can take your eyes off the road until the car says it needs your attention again. And Tesla, whilst selling a software called Full Self Driving, is actually only officially at Level 2 Autonomy, where a driver needs to pay attention at all times. One thing that's almost certain is that these moves will be closely watched by regulators, who have been keeping a watchful eye over these companies in 2021. But it's not just our roads that we'll see change in 2022. One of the biggest questions in the aviation industry is whether travel, especially lucrative business travel, will return to pre-pandemic levels next year. If the industry doesn't recover soon, we could see carriers reconfiguring their aircraft to try and generate more revenue from things like premium economy. We might also see the initial steps towards a return to supersonic flight. Boom Supersonic has said that they have plans to fly their supersonic X-1B demonstrator plane sometime next year. Boeing 737 MAX could also resume flights in China next year, after the country's aviation authority issued a key safety approval for the plane, and that could pave the way for new orders for Boeing. And then there's the aviation sector's ambitions to decarbonise. While 2021 saw some airlines voluntarily sign up to an ambition of net zero emissions by 2050, next year could see the UN's International Civil Aviation Organisation codify that ambition into a global target. And then there's space. After a record year for space tourism, now many companies are aiming for the moon. SpaceX's long-anticipated Starship rocket is scheduled for its first orbital test launch next year. Also launching next year will be phase one of NASA's Artemis mission, which eventually plans to land humans on the moon once more. 2022 might also see some leaps forward in terms of making space a little bit more affordable. Rocket manufacturer Relativity Space have developed a 3D printed rocket, which the company says is cheaper and quicker to manufacture than conventional rockets. They launch the Terran 1 early next year. So while NASA's Artemis mission isn't set to land on the lunar surface till the middle of the decade, you can bet that next year we'll see companies paving the way and competing to get there. So there you have it, just a hint of what we might see next year. But remember, with the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, supply chain logjams and the global chip shortage, 
it's anyone's guess as to how next year might actually pan out. And if there's one thing this year has taught me, it's to expect the unexpected. Hey, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel this year. We started out in August and in a few short months we've racked up around 2,000 subscribers and over 100,000 collective video views. So a big thanks to you for being here. See you next year.